We just kind of started to notice in her back that she had a little bit of a curve. I have scoliosis, but mine wasn't diagnosed until sixth grade. So I wasn't even looking or thinking about it. It wasn't on my radar at all. So we found out when she was um, six and it was already at a 48 degree curve and it just came out of nowhere. Initially talking to Abby's mom, one thing that she was frustrated with was when she got evaluated by the orthopedist, they were just gonna kinda say, okay, let's put you in this brace and, and didn't really know what to do. And, and you know, the thing God is she was seeing a chiropractor that was familiar with this type of work that we do here in the clinic. And so the chiropractor that she was seeing guided her and actually gave her some direction, some education on what potentially this curve could become because she really didn't know. I wrote like a full two or three pages worth of notes the very first time I talked to Dr. Tony. He educated me for a full hour and just answered every question I ever had about her spine and I learned and learned and learned. The fact that there was an alternative route was really exciting. Somebody like Abby who's 60 years old with a 50 degree scoliosis or a 48, trying to hold that curve almost 10 years, you're never going to make it. And doing surgery now at six or even, even at any time before fully mature, it's going to stunt, stunt growth and all these other complications. So we need a very effective conservative program. What I most like is that um, I don't get anything that is going to hurt my back. When I wear the brace, I'm not going to get surgery. I was worried, kind of worried about that. And then once my mom got a call from Dr. Tony, he said, that I didn't get surgery on my back. Now it's going wild. <laughs> she went from 48 down to 30 degree curve. So yeah, within uh, that was within three months. My goal, get her under 20 degrees, possibly under 10, and then start weeding her from her treatment and then wait for her growth spurts when she gets adolescent. I mean, now she's very independent with everything, knows when to take her brace off when to do our exercises, how long, and Dr. Tony says he doesn't like to stop, he wants to keep going, so we're gonna keep pushing.